Howdy folks, John here. Thought I'd talk to you a little bit about how I plant potatoes in a deep mulch. Something like Ruth Stout did with straw. I've done it with straw since the early 80s. I've done it with wood chip mulch. Either work quite well. First thing you do is go into decent soil first. Potatoes need to have a soil that's a little bit acidic and it has to have a lot of organic matter in it. They like phosphorus because they are a root tuber type crop. So don't be deceived that you can go to a parking lot and put mulch on it and then plant potatoes. It's not that easy. This is an established soil that's been worked by me for a while. It's a raised bed garden. It's been worked a little bit to be a little bit more on the acidic side because potatoes like five to 6.5 or so. When you're getting up around 7.0, it's getting a little bit alkaline for them. So this has been set up for blueberries. And, and it's good soil for potatoes too. Lots and lots of good organic matter and lots and lots of drainage. And you just set them on top of the soil and then put the mulch down pretty deep. And you don't irrigate too much for the first few weeks or so. When you see these sprouts start to come up after a couple of weeks, that's when you give it an inch or two of irrigation each week. And this can be done in this area throughout the summer. And they'll grow, and after about two months, you can harvest them. So what you want to do, too, is add a little bit of mulch as they grow, because the tubers are going to be real close to a soil surface. And they're going to actually be pushing up from the soil, and they could expose themselves to light. And that causes a green skin, and they're kind of bad potatoes to be eating. You can still use them to grow your next crop. So if this does happen, you take the green potatoes and you grow them the next time around too. So we're going to move in a little bit of mulch here, and you can see the original potato. These are a type called German Butterball which is an indeterminate it could keep growing and you could keep hilling and you would get a little bit more potatoes but that's so much extra work why bother this is so simple you just stick the darn tuber in the ground and water it once or twice a week for a few months maybe two months and it'll grow along pretty well now this one particular plant started getting yellow at the base which is one of the first indications is getting near ripe, near harvest time. This is the only one out of that batch that's doing that, though. So maybe this one got infected with an early blight. It's called a potato blight. Potatoes are susceptible to some number of diseases, which is part of the reason you need acidic soil. That helps them resist that. So we moved aside some of the leaves here I was going to trim them away but then I realized that the potatoes were decent enough to go ahead and harvest and we'll just eat them right away now they're too young to store these won't store because they haven't gotten to full maturity but they're eminently edible except for the green ones I did not add enough mulch in fact I never added any mulch after I planted them so a, a few that were toward the top got a little bit of green in the skin and I'll just set them aside and grow them. Now, normally if you suspect that a plant might be diseased, you won't want to replant it because you'd be planting disease. But I don't think it's disease so much as, as I think it's just an early, an early maturing girl there. So we're gonna go ahead and harvest these out and I will plant the green ones. They're gonna go in a bucket and be stored away until I decide to plant them later on. And what you wanna do with potatoes is every three or four weeks, plant another batch like this. That way you can have potato tubers continuously through the summer. 
Now they're a little bit more on the cool weather side. A couple weeks before your last killing frost, you can start planting the tubers into the ground. And if it doesn't get too terribly hot, you could probably keep growing new groups of potatoes all through the summer, up until that killing frost comes again in the fall. But if you get really super hot, potatoes may not do too well for you in the summer. They, they do okay for us, but we have to keep the water on them. And they're under this thick mulch, which helps keep the, cool, the soil cool. And since most of the mass of the plant is under the ground, even though it might be a 90 degree day, the soil is still relatively cool and perfect temperature for potatoes. So this is the way I like to grow potatoes. And I'll go ahead and be harvesting the rest of these potatoes as they mature or as I decide that I want to have some potatoes. And that's the beauty about this method. It makes it very simple, very easy, no big decisions. Notice I didn't add anything to the soil. All I did was scoop the mulch aside. And that's the beauty of this deep mulch system. Through the years, as the mulch rots into the soil, all the nutrients in those wood chips will be in the soil. Now, initially, if you first put this up, you may have a nitrogen deficiency because the wood chips are gonna be interacting and degrading in the soil, but this soil is more established. And another thing, you don't wanna dig the wood chips into the soil. Now, here's what the flowers look like. When they're starting to flower, then you know that you've got potatoes that are getting mature enough to harvest. And if you let them fall off and the plants really start to turn yellow, that's when you should go ahead and harvest at that time because then they are going to be the type that you could set aside and cure and let them become storageable. Now that's the harvest we had from that one potato that we planted. So it was probably like five or six times the weight of that one potato. And you get anywhere from five to 10 is pretty normal, I think. Five to 10 times return. So, so it's a good return on the investment. Now I sorted through the ground there, make sure that I didn't miss any tubers. If you do, they'll just grow back. But you really don't want to be growing any of these, this plant family in the same soil over and over again. That's tomatoes, potatoes, peppers. I won't grow anything like that in that soil for a couple of years, but it's so easy to just put the soil back like that. Maybe I might plant something else there later on in the season, but that's basically for blueberries. I was just filling up some of the space with potatoes while the blueberries are still small. Part of intercropping, succession planting. So here's our harvest. Well, folks, I wish you success with your potatoes. Thank you very much. Go ahead and like and subscribe. See you around again now. Bye.